The commercial real estate industry has traditionally been dominated by men. And there's a lot of reasons that we can point to why that is. Some being that women were not encouraged to go into business 50 years ago, 40 years ago. But that is changing. Women were traditionally encouraged to go into professions like teaching or nursing. I am fortunate enough to grow up in a society where I was encouraged to seek out my passion and that ended up being commercial real estate. The reason I think young women don't pursue a career in commercial real estate is simply because they don't know about it. This is not a field that gets advertised. More women do need to seek it out. It's a wonderful way to make a living and it's uh, exciting and engaging. I think it's really important that women understand they can bring their skills to commercial real estate as a profession. And I am a firm believer that when you help women earn a living wage and when you change what women are able to do with their resources, you completely elevate the family. And I am such an advocate that women earn what they deserve to earn. And commercial real estate is a profession that pays people what they deserve. I love seeing that the UN study that was done many years ago that talked about if you want to change an economy or change the world, you start by giving women a living wage. What we've seen happen is women really are beginning to enter commission work now. That's a huge change in the past 10 years. And as they take commission work, you see them begin to excel because they're excellent networkers, they're excellent relationship builders. And the research tends to show that, although they're not as confident as they might be about those skills, women tend to think they're too busy working with their families, their jobs, to be excellent networkers. But that's why we have organizations that encourage the networking so that you don't do the job by yourself. You have people who believe in you and people who help you do the best job possible to sell what you have to offer. Relationships are the most important thing you can have in the commercial real estate industry. Nobody is successful on their own if they don't build their relationships. And so networking is critical to that success. There's no question that we've all been working hard to make sure that there's parity in commercial real estate. And we've all been working hard to make sure that people have opportunities for the future. But unfortunately, it's not going as fast as we need it to go. We need people to consider making donations to make change for scholarships. We need to consider that people should step in, mentor, pay attention to the next generation. Make sure we're part of that process because if we're not active and we do not have the courage of our convictions, we are not being helpful to make this come as fast as we can because change has got to occur now. The Crew Foundation Scholarship allowed me to attend the convention in Miami last year where I was able to meet a lot of women in real estate to learn more about their career path and the world that they're currently in. In addition, I was able to meet the different employers to see what are the companies that I might be a good fit for and to talk to them about the different openings or the different opportunities they might have in their firm. The Crew Network Scholarship gave me the opportunity to pursue a career that I'm very passionate about. The mission of Crew Network is to help women become successful in commercial real estate. It's a network that encourages them to do business together and over 70 chapters and 10,000 members. And we generally work hard on helping women develop their leadership style and their skills so that when they begin to go back to their communities and lead their companies, their leadership skills are evident and they are standing out as the best of the best. Crew Network does a fantastic job of connecting women with other women through sponsorship and mentoring opportunities. It is critical to a woman's success in this business to build relationships and to build key relationships that are going to help her get business and give business. That's what's made me successful is knowing and having confidence when I walk into the room with a client and knowing that I can connect them with anybody, uh, whether it be an architecture firm, an engineering firm, uh, bankers, you know, finance, water rights attorneys, you know, et cetera. This is really important to my success in the industry and so Crew Network really takes a lot of time and effort to develop programs centered around 
advancing those career opportunities for women. This year Crew Network is launching a leadership certificate program and we're focusing on negotiation skills, we're focusing on financial strategic leadership and we're focusing on the basic decision making plan individuals create for themselves and for their companies in terms of the work, business work plan. When you finish you will have a year's training in those things that our researchers showed us that women really need to work on. And I'm excited about that because we are really focusing on exactly what's important to lead in the future. I would tell a young woman today who's considering the commercial real estate industry, just do it. Don't wait another moment.